I love Fridays. I'm into Fridays. Fridays are the best. Hola. I just wanted to jump on here. Give you guys a challenge for 2024. I was getting my tea and me and the barista were talking about our thoughts and how we got really deep. Me and the barista at the Pete's Coffee. What thoughts run through our heads? <laughs> That's why I was inspired to get on here. And for 2024, literally try to count how many times you are having negative thoughts in your head. And the reason this came up is because he saw me in a good mood. I said, oh, it's all mindset. It's, it's all about keeping positive. It's all about reminding yourself how to you know, talk to yourself. And you're amazing. Do that. Just literally talk to yourself. It's all mental. And how I do that all day. But I really intentionally do it. I feel great today. Like they're controlled now because of all of the training I've been doing. And I'm involved in a lot of things right now. Mental processing because I am so into the mind and how we're executing, why we execute, why we don't execute, what's our hold up, why do things get in the way. And the reason I'm so into it is because most of my clients, when I want to get them up and running, they get stuck. And I have to make sure that they are not stuck and how to motivate them and how to make sure that they commit to themselves and be bigger than themselves because it's so hard to sometimes execute when you don't have all the elements mentally to process to feel confident enough to actually execute so that's one thing that really stops people is that you don't have all the information to execute because if you did have all the information you would have executed it a long time ago but that's the only hold up it's literally not having all the details and even when you don't have the details just executing that when you make the first move, let's just say you're trying to create the, the first thing for your brand, right? You decided what you're going to sell. You decided you're going to put up a Facebook and an Instagram. You decided all of these things What really the motivation comes from the action, which would be the first thing. So the first thing you do, let's just say, is just opening up the account, even just the bank account that motivates you. That's where the motivation comes is from the first step. Then when you have the first step, then you do the second step. And guess what? That motivates you even more to actually finish what you started. So back to the reason I even got on here was to be very cautious of what goes through your head, what comes out of your head, and really pay attention and be really mindful of what you are thinking. And if there is a negative thought, quickly clean it up with the positive looking at the cup half full not half empty and just remind yourself wait that was a negative thought that was the fifth negative thought all day today that's not good so if you can keep it down to five negative thoughts during the day then you are doing amazing how many thoughts is a challenge how many thoughts during the day are there negative thoughts coming in we think millions of thoughts a day per second, literally sometimes, depending on if you're ADD or not. <laughs> Write them down and be like, why am I being negative if I'm actually in action for that particular project? Why? And figure out and nail it down to why and how you can avoid being negative. That It's as simple as that. I know I say it all the time. Less is more. Keep it simple. And I used to be the person where was scatterbrained all over the place. I felt like I knew everything, but I didn't. So when I started stepping back and actually doing nothing, meaning started mentally processing everything first, then writing it out, and then executing, I used to execute, then backtrack, then write it down, then go, oh, look at all the things that I wasted time, energy, money on. So that's what forced me to actually stop doing that because I was wasting time and money and I was getting older. I really want to accomplish all of these things without losing time and money because I don't have that anymore. How do you with strategy and make sure that you are respecting the money and make sure that you are really intentional and it all starts mentally, but it also starts with the positive attitude. So you're amazing. You're a rock star. You're so many things, but remind yourself that. And even if you think you're not, do it anyways. You are forced. The challenge here is you are forced to talk to yourself as if you're high off life, number one. And number two, when these thoughts creep in, knock them out with a positive thought. 
make sure that that cup is half full, not half empty. And that's it. Try that. That's a challenge for 2024. That's a challenge for the next hour. That's a challenge for the next day. That's a challenge for tomorrow. That's a challenge for every single day for the rest of your life. Because you can only focus on right now, right here. Because there is no yesterday. There is no tomorrow. There is right now, right here. Oritita. That's all you can be grateful for. What's happening right now? I am so grateful right now that I am in this car. My beautiful Ford car. I drove to Sacramento. I'm here. I'm so grateful that I get to work with Eric. I had this great breakfast. I am so excited to even have the opportunity to share, to even have the knowledge to be like, hey guys, I have the opportunity to speak, to eat, to go to the bathroom, to do all of these things. And we sometimes block thoughts that have nothing to do with how amazing we are and how we feel and how we should be at all 100% be positive all the time so that's it no more <laughs> be positive and if you're not positive call me that's what I'm here I am the positive coach let's keep it going the challenge today is to be a rock star today to talk to yourself and be grateful for breathing that's it right now right here that's it all right, love you guys.